everyone, I'm back in the studio today to bring you a scrap busting project. Um, I love to decorate in my house and I love to decorate with little wooden pieces, especially wooden dough bowls, which is what we have here. And I love to decorate with these new balls that are sold at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, well, gosh, that's so cute. Why don't I wrap some balls, just some foam balls with some fabric that's left over from scraps. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you can make one of these for your house too. For your pins, you're gonna use really short pins that don't have a ball on the top. So just a flat pin. So we'll link to those in the description box. We got some foam balls, number three size from Hobby Lobby, and we'll link that also. We're gonna be using the Urban Farmhouse Gatherings 2 Fat Eighth Bundle, but you can use scraps that are left over from your stash. I just wanted these colors because they match my house. And you just need some scissors and get ready to rip. So you can see how beautiful this Lisa Von Jean fabric is. It's totally home decor. These are the colors I'm gonna go with and I'm gonna show you how to make one ball. I'm gonna take a fat eighth piece and I'm not gonna iron it or anything. You're just gonna use it just like it comes off the bundle. So you're gonna cut strips that are about an inch long and you want them to be ravelly. Now I'm cutting them a little bit longer into the fabric and the reason why is the salvage doesn't rip very well and I'm gonna actually cut one more. And then you're just gonna rip this. And I'm gonna have three strips per ball. I'm gonna go ahead and do four just in case. So now we have all of our fabric ripped and we're gonna start creating our balls and any of this like little leftover fabric, just pull it off and that'll be good. Now to start, I'm gonna cut my salvages off. You don't have to, but that way you don't have to hide them. And you really only need three strips, but I have four just in case. And you just put your pin in the ball and you just poke it right in. And you're just gonna wrap the ball. What is best to do is just to hold it as tight as you can and then just start covering the ball. Super easy, and I'm gonna leave all this frayed stuff here because it makes it look nice. And you'll just stop, put a little pin in. Now you could use hot glue if you didn't wanna buy the pins. I tend to burn myself with hot glue. So now I'm just gonna start again, pin over the previous pin, and just keep going. Hobby Lobby, they actually sell this in several sizes. So you could do different fabrics on different size balls and you could um, have a mix and match in your little dough bowl. Now here, I'm just gonna create a point at the end. You don't have to. Um, and just poke that in. Super easy. And the more ravelly, the better. And you just add it to your dough bowl and ta-da, you're done. Wasn't this a fun, quick, and easy tutorial to bust up your stash? I can't wait to see all of your dough bowls. Share them with me on social media, and I'll see you next time.